Well, what's she there to Selfies text for my dog. I'm a direct person. Our office. And I like to be a director program. And I need to find yeah. out. You need to find out. Did she inquire about why? Oh, really? But you have this. It's been spent. 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 It's Good afternoon, everyone. I apologize for running uh, uh, late. I'd uh, like to have the roll call now. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Mr. Chairman? Here. Dr. Thomas? Here. Mr. Broker? Here. Mr. Dawson? Here. Mr. French? Here. Mr. Holmes? Here. Mr. Mandel? Here. Ms. Olive? Here. Here. Thank you. Action items, line of credit extension. Curtis. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, requesting the board to approve an amended intergovernmental agreement with town and county pertaining to the county's guarantee of tax line of credit and authorize the chairman to approve and sign any modified documents to the extent there is any concern that the documents are not in final form. Uh, I'll turn it over to Terry for any more details. Um, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Every December, we renew our line of credit. So Wells has come to us and asked for a 60-day extension. They have not given any indication that they're not willing to, to renew the line of credit. So this action today basically extends the expiration date for 60 days and gives CAT staff and county staff and the Wells group an opportunity to assess the best financing alternative for CAT moving forward. And I can take any questions. Okay. Um, <clears throat> the concern that I had in, in listening at the commission meeting today, where are we with this line of credit? How much has been drawn down? How much is left? Nobody seems to have a handle on what the actual it, It's complicated because of the transition from the OEO. When we transitioned from the LEO, we got an increase in the line of credit. That was June 2013. Mm -hmm. So we went from a 1.7 line to a 7.7 line. Right. Then um, last December, we restructured that line. Mm -hmm. Operating costs and the timing of transit receipts made it complicated to pay that large amount down mm -hmm. in a short period of time. So last December, we restructured. So we had a $7.5 million balance last December, and we restructured to a $5 million term note and a $1.5 million line of credit. So in effect, we paid down a little bit over a million when we restructured, and then we paid another million last January. So we have a $4 million balance on the term note, and right now, 1.5 is outstanding on the line of credit, which is the operating. Which we which we can pay both. Yes, we can. What, what, wait a minute, y'all. Y'all are going too fast. Yeah, I want, I want to do it. The four million, four million is, is on the line. Okay, right now we have a term loan, and term. four million is outstanding. That's on schedule. We were scheduled to make a million dollar reduction each January 20th. And we will do that. Yes. We set that up so that there was no chance of default. We set it up for the month after our largest transit tax receipts are received. And uh, isn't that the call uh, from Veolia? Is that the one for Veolia? The larger part of it was yeah. was um, an, an increase on our current line in order to pay what was due Veolia at transition. Yes, sir. Yeah. All right, but wait a minute. So the, the four, we've got the $4 million balance on the term loan. Mm -hmm. And then we have a $1.5 million in the line of credit? In the line of credit, and it has stayed at $1.5 this entire calendar year with the hope of making interim payments. Mm -hmm. Expenses were up, cash receipts were down, mm -hmm. and we were unable to make any reductions until this month, but we can currently 
pay the entire balance if you need to. On the line of credit. Okay. On the line of credit, and then also make the million dollar payment in January. All right, so a stupid accounting question because I'm not an accountant. If we've got the money to pay off these things, is there a particular reason why we're not? The money was just received with our December tax receipts. Our operating costs run from 1.5 to 1.6 a month, and without the transit tax receipts, we usually receive less than $800,000 a month. So most of the time, we're, we're behind in the payable, mm -hmm. and we're behind in being able to make our operating costs. So it's, it's been challenging to juggle the available funds and, and our normal payables for operating costs. But let me ask you then, and I don't mean to dominate, and I hope these questions are helpful to you all. It, would it behoove us to pay some of this down? I mean, do if, we? If we did pay all of it down. I said some. I yeah, yeah, yeah. If we pay some down, then we risk not being able to cover payrolls, insurance, and operating costs for the buses to run. I understand that, but it's hard to, for when I'm, and this is how I run my household. The less debt I have, the better it is. But what I'm, I'm hearing is we have the money to pay it off, but we really shouldn't do that. Only because in March, April, and May, mm -hmm. the transit tax receipts will be very low. I got you. So if we pay yes. now, we risk not being able to cover payroll, operating costs, fuel, and insurance in the spring. But Terry, correct me if I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. If there was no extension, it was just a renewal, mm -hmm. then we would have paid off the entire 1.5 in yes. December. Yes. And then we would have had another 1.5 available throughout the year in case our tax receipts are too low. That right. We can get with an annual cash flow projection, it, it looks like we would need a third of it, half a million in March, half a million in April, half a million in May. Um, June, we have a large transit tax receipt as the payments are made. I guess they send the bills twice a year. So in June and in July, we usually get close to a million five. The plan was always to reduce the line of credit then, but due to operating costs, and capital cost not covered with current available grant money, we were never able to pay that down. So so we can pay it off this month. But we need it in March. But if they don't renew it in February, then we're gonna be in a challenge. In a cash crunch. Right. So the we, alternative we would be- certainly pay it off though. They gave us an extension so that we didn't have to pay it by December mm -hmm. and until they decide what else they're gonna do. If they decide we can renew it and everything's fine, then and they haven't given any indication that they're not willing to do that. I, I think understand. They just I mean, I, hit again, the pause, I, it, whether it's your household or your business, the less debt you have, the better. And I'm just trying to figure out what we could actually pay down so that, you know, we're not giving away money and interest. So that was the first question. The next question on the reporting requirements um, and, you know, just glancing through this because we all just got it when we walked in here. Um, yes, ma'am. We are this supposed to, the county shall furnish the bank with an annual audit of financial statements within 180 days of its fiscal year. Now, as far as the county is concerned, our fiscal year starts in July. So, we are we in compliance here? Yes, we've, we've always sent it. It's quite possible that last year it went in mid January. But we do send once once our financials are issued, I send to the to the bank and also to the federal clearinghouse a copy of our audited financials. What I don't want to happen is, and I don't know whether it was last year or the year before, but CAT's audit held up the county's audit. And I don't want that to happen again. Right. We've been working very hard this year to make sure that it's issued on time and within the county's restrictions. We actually sent to the county the financial piece on October 16th. So the county has had those financials since so mid-October. you working closely with Amy and Right, we actually gave it to them early, early like this past year. We yep. in October, when last it, time it, it was 60 days years. later before yeah. the numbers were done. And that's Amy discussed that when she was at the podium today. Okay, well, I just want to make sure that, because I think there were some concerns um, and I'm just speaking about the county commission today that, that were brought up. And yeah, we James planned and, our workload this year to make sure that we finished that work earlier 
than an average. I have um, been at CAT for five years, mm -hmm. and this is actually the earliest we've ever delivered the audited numbers to the county. Mm -hmm. does, does that pretty much sum it up, James? And yeah. So, mm -hmm. Okay, I just want to make sure. Terry, come back to the money. Mm -hmm. So we started the year 5.5 on the note, and 1.5 the line of credit? Yes, and made a $1 million so reduction. So we started at seven mm -hmm. between the two of them. Six, five. Six, five. Six, five. Five, five, five. and one, five. Five even okay, and five. one, five. So six, five. And you're going to end at three if you don't pay off this one, five. No. Is that what you just said? Mm -hmm. No. You just said you now, today you have a $4 million on the term loan. Right. With and the million down down million. January, right? Hold on. So where where are you where are you proposing to end up at the end of the month? If we pay the Is one five three million on the term, which you have to pay a million on the term January twentieth. Yes. The end of this month we'll have a zero balance on the outstanding line of credit. Okay. On January twentieth we'll make another million dollar payment. Okay. For the long term though. And so by January thirty first our total debt will be three million, with the alternative to have a financing option for our low months in March, April, and May to cover operating costs. So your plan is to pay off the line of credit? Yes, always was the plan. We were waiting on the timing of some grant funding and it actually just came in within the last 20 days. Team closes, team is the grant system for um, moving funds and it closes for the whole month of September. So it is reopened and we got the money in and, and we're ready to pay our obligations. And then okay. in the 60 days, 60 days where we're going to get the extension, mm -hmm. we need to borrow against that. Can we borrow against it? Or it's, we can't borrow against it? We had conversations, and the Wells Fargo representative indicated that he didn't see why we couldn't if we needed to. Because it was just an extension. So we can pay it all off in December and borrow sure it back. Right. But February 29th is the end of it, so before then we need a resolution of what our long term Just think if anything big comes up here. <laughs> Correct. Right. Relating to this. It, and, and I think we're all looking for the unknowns and, and looking for some time to change those unknowns into definite numbers and then move forward with Cat's best interest. Well, yeah, so bottom line, Terry, you're not asking us today to borrow any additional money. No. You're no. simply yeah. asking you're simply asking us to extend by sixty days the one point five million dollar line of credit. Yes. Pay off. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And I just want to add, I mean, and I've asked plenty of questions here, but in looking back as someone who's been on this board since I became a commissioner, which is what, how long have we been doing it? Um, we are definitely in better financial shape than we were in the past. Right. So, I mean, I just want that to be pointed out because I think that was misunderstood this morning. I think that they thought that we were coming to borrow additional money. No, yes. ma'am. This was the normal December renewal. Had 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 the last three months gone the way they usually do, we would have still been there this morning, but we would have been asking for a renewal of our operating line of credit as opposed to an extension. And once the long-term note is gone, I mean, if we're able to pay a million dollars a year on that, and that's now gone at some point, then we would have that million dollars to borrow. And that's what I'd like to see. Ultimately, right. that's where I would like to see us. Yes. And one and thing, too, is that well, well, Veolia was supposed to do more than they should have. And, of course, what we did, we separated from them because what uh, we looked at, they were charging us a $1,200,000 a month yep. to run, uh, you know, to run the place. And so... Uh, uh, that's when I gave them notice, uh, and all of you know that uh, we are terminating our contract with you because this was supposed to be a public-private thing, and our cost factors for you to run it, uh, that we cannot afford that. They placed us in this situation partially uh, the way we are now. Okay. I, I guess I have a curiosity question, Helen. You said thought that was misunderstood? Well, I think what, what was misunderstood this morning, but in light of what was all happening, here we here comes CAT to extend a line of credit. I think what they thought was that this was an additional money yeah. 
that we needed in light of, yeah. of some of the problems that have occurred. And I, and I was trying to explain that to some of my fellow commissioners, but I, I, the timing of it. It's unfortunate timing, but right. it's necessary for the way CAP receives the bulk of its support, which is our transit tax. Right. And we've done this every year since 2007. I this year but was you understand what I think I do. a lot I of do. confusion was this and, and I'm sorry they were confused. I wish they could ask me the question. Okay. Next, uh, uh, new business. A motion. Uh, uh, we need a so motion on the floor for the, the uh, extension <coughs> of a credit extension. There's a draft resolution in the packet. Right. Yeah. It additionally authorizes the chairman and possibly the executive director to sign any necessary documents to accomplish that. Everybody's got one of these kinds of Yes, and they have a copy in their package. They should have one of them. They have not. We can use the laws through the other. Yes, funding the fairs. You have one in your package. The chairman just looked at the one without the statement. I've asked the sponsor for you. She's already drafted the plan. That's what the cost of that is closed and read on. What is this? I'm talking about this part. You told me what is that? Everybody has uh, a copy of this for that extension, and uh, the resolution. Resolution now. Uh, who made the? I uh, made Okay, Wayne and you. No, Helen, 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 Helen and Helen Wayne. Motion. No, it's Helen made the motion, and Mary second. Oh, and you were raising James your hand. I thought you said you did. I said All right, James, got it. Okay, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, motion carries. Um, anything else? Okay, no new business right now. Thank each and every one of you for coming because this was really important for this and uh, y'all have worked really hard on the board. Appreciate that very much because it has made a difference in uh, I see some people just don't understand. I think they would help us even more if they just understood that our transportation, we've got 24,000 people in our cities and county that do not have transportation mm -hmm. according to the latest uh, census. And those people, uh, you know, some of you say it and I'll say it again, that they needed to go to the doctor, they needed to go to the food store, uh, they needed to back and forth to work, and those things are important. And um, we hurt a lot of people when we don't have the transportation for those things for the people. And uh, thankfully that uh, we have a great staff, and of course Curtis has done a good job on board with us, and we can see uh, with that. And what I'd like to do now is thank you again for being here and that you have, uh, you and your family have a great Christmas and may God bless all of you and your families for many years to come. Thank Same to you, Mr. Same Chairman. Same to everyone else, everybody. Same to everyone. Yes. yes. All right. At 7 o'clock, I oh, want everybody to remember, at 7 o'clock tomorrow, is the uh, employee thank you oh, yeah. that we're having okay. at 7 o'clock. At the Yacht Club, right? Wilmington Island. Wilmington Island. Wilmington Island, where we had it last year. Safety Awards Banquet. But it's not the Yacht Club, it's Wilmington the... Um, Wilmington Island, Island Club. Club. Yeah. 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 All right. All right.
Yeah. 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 Do me sure. a favor. You said yeah. time insurance. Yeah. Normally, this time of year, you would get an extension for a year of the line of credit. Instead, an extension of the year. A renewal, that's correct. My address so, has, yeah. so um, okay. but yet you're just getting an extension for 60 days. But yet you're telling them, so is there some reason why you just didn't get an annual renewal from Wells Fargo? Based on current events. They declined to do an decline. They just asked. They okay, family. Well, they either, oh, yeah. they either agreed or they declined. They requested the 60 days. No. Okay, no. So, so they, they will give all of us time to assess tax needs and best finance as going to assess tax needs. And as well as far as we ask for any access to financial information. So if I call Wells Fargo, they're not going to say that they declined to renew for a year. Okay. Um, is, is anyone from Wells Fargo, any representative from Wells Fargo, planning to come and visit the IRS financials? Or do you have any information about any of that? They said that they may come in the spring. So, so you know, we have Christmas and it'll be New Year's Day. And it, so, assuming presumably in 30 days or whatever, they're going to tell you whether or not they'll do another annual renewal on February 29th. I have something else that they've already done. Okay. Now, okay. Now, okay. Now, okay. 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 Okay.